Hey everyone, Demonite here, and I'm back in the Commander Lilith DLC, probably for the last time today, because we only have a few side quests left, and I was actually mistaken, it's not just two quests, but three quests actually. Um, the raid boss quest, then one in the back burner, and one in the Mount Scarab Research Center. So let's do that one first. Um, and yeah, Borderlands 3, a lot of people are very eager to see me play the game. And, you know, that's understandable, it's an amazing game and I want to play it more. But unfortunately, unfortunately I am having some uh, performance issues with it. And I'm not the only one, it seems. Uh, the game just stutters a lot and sometimes the FPS drops and... I don't really know what causes it. I've tried a million things. Oh, hey. Cool. But it just doesn't get better. And I kind of hoped there's gonna be a patch or something soon. If not, I might just record anyway. But yeah, just a little heads up so you guys know about that. Anyway, let's start with the quest, Echoes of the Past. This is Colonel Hector of the Doll 191st. Corporate command has recognized our sacrifices and promised us a backwater station. Far from any battle theaters. Got the location of our new post today. Brass says it's a paradise. The planet's name is Pandora. Sounds nice. Okay, I guess we'll get some more background and in information on Hector and what the hell he was hey, doing. In front of it. Also for the for these guys, I'm just gonna Equip the sham again Because they're probably gonna be using e-tech weapons again. Also, I should probably use the slow hand on a grenade build and not the grog Where's my slag slow hand? There it is All right. Yeah, they're, they're using e-tech weapons again Usually enemies just use wide rarity here, but these guys They don't give a fuck they actually know how to open new chests, I guess. And as long as they don't put DOTs on me, that's fine. Okay. All of them are chilling up there, I guess. Let's just quickly open some chests for some more grenades and then let's move on. I don't know what my fastball hit there. A barrel or something. Okay, any more? I guess not. Okay, did, is that up there somewhere, or can I go down? No, that's down. Yeah. We're almost to Pandora. I miss the thrill of the fight. Tidal pool massacre on Troop I-7. Pushing back that may hold some stomach and tail on M6. But, good of my man. Bastards can't stop clamoring about paradise. Green hills, potable water, not being clawed to death. Soon I'm starting to believe in my 
myself. Pandora, here we come. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't sound like Pandora, what he's describing there. Okay, so over here... Does the guy respawn from the quest we did earlier? Yeah, I think that's him, right? Okay, let's equip a shock fastball to get rid of his, his shield. Yeah, that is uh, okay. Yeah, that was much better than last time. And he dropped something. Hot mama. Okay. Uh, my inventory is just slightly overfilled, so I'm gonna have to drop something. I have so many tedior guns. I used these for testing elemental stuff with tedior reloads. And I kinda don't wanna get rid of them, because I may need them again. Because I am still working on some TDO stuff, including the video about it. The video is actually done in theory, I just have to record a bunch of stuff of me throwing things at the test dummy. Let's just get rid of this. Okay. So, sniper is a lonely occupation. Hmm. Sounds like an E-Tech sniper. You know just how to <laughs> and it has a voice. Alright. Let's just run past these things. Okay, I kind of want to try this thing out. Okay, it does deal fire damage. Okay, the damage doesn't seem bad. I mean, I'm using a grenade build. So. I don't know where this guy's head is. There we go. Okay, interesting, but let's just equip. Maybe I'll equip the omen. <laughs> uh, 
and he said Jabbermon, so slight reference to the new creatures in Borderlands 3. Shame you don't have iframes on those, huh? Oh wait, where is this? Okay, how do I get there? From above? Yeah. That's turning. Finally some luck. One of my boys found a shiny alien trinket, showed it to the brass. They promised us all promotions and big plots of land. I went back and told the men they couldn't contain themselves. Well, we cracked open some rations and had ourselves a good old time. We, we was like a bunch of Jabbermon drunk on stock wine hollering in the new day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I guess I c could go back now. But we might as well kill the boss. Because why not? Oh, no. Say hello, sweetie! <laughs> Yeah, very interesting fight by the way, but maybe he drops it. think he dropped anything great well he dropped this but I think he always drops the okay whatever I guess I have to turn it in down there Wait, what? Where do I turn it in? Okay, yeah, turns out fighting the boss was a mistake. <laughs> I'll just cut that out. I ran all the way up here again and we turn it in here. This is where we die. There was a cave in a couple of days ago. Boys still think a rescue's coming. Didn't have the heart to tell them that cave in was no accident. A few boys went rabbit already, had to be put down. I'm the only thing keeping the 191 together. Those sackless piss rugs broke their promise. Well, I won't. These men have earned their keep. I'm gonna get them their paradise, no matter the cost. All right. <laughs> Dahl abandoned people again. Hector's paradise, that looks like a hornet. Let's see. Is that just a shock hornet? It looks like it. Okay, but now we can actually return. And do the other quests. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's equip uh, the omen again. And now we'll do this quest from Vaughn, I think. Yep. So Hector's gone, huh? Hell yeah! Look, I know you're a Crimson Vault hunter and everything, but I'm gonna start a new bandit clan, and I could use a few good murder captains. Hey, Vault Hunter, got one more favor to ask. I need some advice on how to be the best bandit king. Let's see if anyone has some words of wisdom for me. Maybe start with Moxie? She's got a lot of experience with bandit clans. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I've made sure. for me on running a bandit clan? Sure, Han. The most important thing is knowing when to sweet talk and when to slash someone ear to ear without blinking. Well, that went dark fast. Um, so be a sadistic psychopath. Got it. Well, this has been a thing. Thank you. Anytime, sugar. Why don't you come on by <sighs> later and have a drink on Moxie? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Definitely we'll do that. Um, oh, girl. Well, that was interesting and less than helpful. Maybe Ellie has some advice for me. <laughs> Ellie, how's it hanging? Banging bodacious and sexy as all hell, as per usual. Oh, Ellie, you are just delightful. Don't I know it? Never get tired of hearing it from a chiseled little man like yourself, though. Oh, wink. Did you just wink at me over Echo? <laughs> okay, anyway. You spent some time in a bandit clan, right? What kind of advice would you give an aspiring bandit king? Only thing bandits respect is bullets and killing. And it always helps if you're devastatingly good looking. Which you is. <laughs> oh, wink. Cool, yeah, you, you winked again on the thing. Well, I'm gonna call it at that. Thanks, Ellie. Anytime, you hard body little snuggle muffin. Being a bandit, it's about freedom. I mean, sure, it's a war zone out there, but it's, it's not all about the killing, is it? Brickwood's the slabs, right? Maybe he can help. Brick, you old so-and-so. You have had a lot of experience running a bandit clan, as it were. Care to share some words of wisdom? Hell yeah. We got a sin in the slab. Might even call it our guiding principle. Punch stuff real hard. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, anything, uh, anything else? Or... Nope, that's it. Okay, good talk. Blood ball on Wednesday? Yep. Not the most useful advice I've ever received, but I guess he's got a point. Hmm. Didn't Marcus have, like, a bandit called once? Maybe he's got something for me. <laughs> I guess this is just a talk to people quest, but I have nothing against that. It's pretty cool. Hey, Marcus. Penny for your thoughts on leading a bandit clan? Well, I've never turned down a penny. Pay for wisdom. So, yes, I accidentally became the object of a cult worship once upon a time. And it was pretty great. <laughs> they give me money and guns and everything. But... The best part was, they always died soon after, so I didn't owe them anything. <laughs> the lesson here is, it's fine for everyone to die, as long as it's profitable. Yeah, money. Money's good. Bye. Well, this has all been really terrible advice, uh, and I know we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel on this one, but... Uh, let's see if Claptrap has anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> Regret this, but uh, hey, Claptrap. So, you've been on Pandora a long time. Got any advice for a new bandit leader? Do I? Do I? No. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I was expecting some kind of rambling, nonsensical monologue. In that case, you've come to the right place. 
There it is. Bandits are superstitious idiots. I would advise you to acquire godlike powers. Legends tell of a secret coven of witches living deep beneath the... Nope, we're done here. What? Uh -huh. Then let me finish. All you need to do is bring 17 lapis lazuli stones, three scalps of your enemies, and... Nope, 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 and no nope. Bye, Claptrap. Aww. <sighs> I think the real lesson here, you gotta find your own bandit troop. You know, maybe what I need is a, is a self-initiation, right? Time to figure out who Vaughn really is. Oh, oh, I love this, a Pandoran walkabout. Oh, but wait, I can't go on a walkabout without my artifact of power. Ah, oh, I lost it in Helios when we got kicked out. Could you grab it for me? Okay, it doesn't just talk to people. So that's... Yeah. Okay, now find my own living quarters and poke around for the artifact. This artifact was the source of all my power. That must be why my initiations went so poorly. Of course! to hit that guy but okay he died. There you go. And more e tech guns. Meet my lady friend. Splash damage. Yes, that's it. Top of the line Hyperion Red Bar X two thousands with Quicksilver Fly and no rise banding. Bring it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that was quick. Wait, how do I get up there again? Oh, over here. Okay, so unless Vaughn has another quest now, that's it, right? Vault Hunter and everything, but now I can make preparations for my journey. I'm gonna find myself out in that wasteland. My true self. My bandit king self. With my Hyperion Red Bar X 2000s, I'm going places! Wish me luck with, you know, not dying in the most horrible ways imaginable by the darkest recesses of the human mind. 
<laughs> so that shotgun, that has the colors of the Sun Smashers, doesn't it? Switching out! Choice move! It also has a voice. Has free projectiles. It's the butcher, isn't it? Yeah, it refills ammo sometimes. So that's just the butcher reskin? Okay. Whatever, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I think that was everything so now only the last quest huh? left is the raid boss from hammerlock since escaping from that gas-filled cavern i've caught off on all your escapades and i must say i'm quite impressed you sure gave that hector fellow a what for though it is regrettable that you destroyed pandora's last remaining tree <laughs> what ho intrepid adventurer it is a relief to see a friendly face i've been trapped behind this gaseous miasma for ages I had to survive on the entrails of... Actually, we can put that behind us. You've come for another bout to the death with a horrifying creature, and by Jove, I've got just the one. Alright. Uh, let's refill on some ammo. And I think I'll also respec. Because I don't know if the boss has grenade resistance or something related to that. I hope not, but I'm just gonna respect for a soldier build. So yeah, I'll be right back. 